So I'm gonna go live now. We're here at the probation office. This is not. Do you have an idea? Do you have an ID on? No, you're not getting my ID. Do you have an ID? You're not getting my ID. Yes, we can require. South Carolina Code can require you to possess ID. That's only when I've broken the law, or you can articulate that I have correct. No, no, you're not correct. What's up, YouTube and CT3 fam? Welcome back to another video. I'm CT3, and today we're highlighting a clip from a citizen who was filming their public building and was removed by aggressive security. But when the cops arrive, the roller coaster rides get even crazier. During the clip, I'll interject with a few educational pointers to ensure your rights are not violated on your next encounter with the cop. And the clip we're highlighting today is from the YouTube channel, South Carolina Accountability. Make sure you use the link in the description below for the full video. And while you're over there showing some love because without them, there's no CT3. Keep in mind, my goal is to make this an educational experience based on your civil rights, along with your rights to film in public. So if you could, go ahead and gently smash that like button for that reason alone. Now with that done, let's get right into it. I don't. Are you here from court or anything? What's that? Are you here from court or anything like that? I just said I don't need any help. Well, sir, you're walking around here with a camera on you. And, and I can do good. that. Sir, excuse me? And I can do that. Why are you walking around with a camera? Because I can. Sir, am I getting an attitude with you? You are. Ask you a question. You're interrupting my video. Thank you. Is Agent Sterling Hill in today or his supervisor? Ma'am. I don't want to give my name. I just need to speak to his supervisor if he's here. And I still have it. I have two of them. Please tell me what law I'm breaking. None. Exactly. Get out of my face. What's going on, man? I'll be standing right here. And I said I don't need sir, any help. I'm talking about boss. Give me one second, please. You're talking about me? Yes, I am, sir. I've given you no lip or no disrespect. There's no reason you need to do that to me right There's now. There's no reason for you to ask me, can you help me? This is a public space. I'm open to move freely as I want to. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Is this a public space? For people on supervision? No. Is this a public space? Is this building limited to only people that are on supervision? We have clips of extension downstairs. This is a probation officer. Okay, but my question is, is this space limited to only people? Me? No, you can't, and I've already told this gentleman he can't. But you have no reason to be on this floor, sir. You have no business. Sir, did you not just see me go to that window? And I asked if I could help you with a camera strap. You, you can't help me with anything. I already told you that. The person that I want to speak to, I went to the window to ask for them. You're not him. I'm 100% confident. Come on, we're right. up here and find out who you're looking for. Come on. And who are you? I'm the assistant agent in charge. Come on, we're going to Okay. Find out. I need you to go this way. Come on. You don't tell me where to go. Yes, does. I can. I can actually remove you from this building. Yep. Okay. We'll find out today. What's that, sir? Yeah. Okay. Who did you ask for? Did you sign in? I didn't sign in. She didn't ask me to sign in. Is that your policy to sign in? Yes, yes. it is. Oh, well, you might want to get on her. She didn't tell me to sign in. Did he? Who did he ask for? You didn't ask to speak to anybody? Ask her what I asked her. Did you speak no, to No, did you ask to speak to anybody? That's what we want to know. And if you ask her, she'll tell I'm you. To, do you. I don't have to tell you. Yes, you do. Okay, you'll find out. I can't. Sterling. 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 Sterling See? Supervisor. That lady was all the way back there and she heard it. So how come she didn't hear it and she was right there? Okay. Sounds like a bunch of them. I don't have to answer Are your question. Are you on probation? I don't have to answer your yes. question. Then you need to leave the building. Come on. You have to Sir, leave the don't touch me. Yes, I do. You don't have to leave. I can instruct you okay. to leave this building. All right. We place you on trespass. Are you going to place me on trespass from yes, a public space? Yes, we can. From a public yes, space? Yes, we can. Okay. From a public space? Yes, we can. All right. We're going to find out. You being resistive? I don't have to be resistive. You don't give me lawful orders. We just did. Step out okay. Of okay. All right, guys, so I'm going to go live now. We're here at the probation office. This is not... Do you, have an, do you have an ID on you? No, you're not getting my ID. Do you have an you're ID not on getting my Yes, ID. we can require. South Carolina Co Co no. can require you to no. possess ID. That's only when I've broken the law, or you no, can articulate that I have correct... That's no. incorrect. No, you're not correct. You're being disorderly conduct. 
I'm being disorderly because yes. you're refusing me in a public space. We're no. not refusing you. We asked you who you needed to see. Did the lady just tell you who I asked to speak to? Yes, she did. Okay, and so I just asked to speak to someone, correct? You said, when we asked you about the person, you said Agent Hill. Okay. No, I didn't. I said Agent Hill's supervisor, supervisor, not Agent Hill. Okay, and when we said something about going to get him, you said what? I don't need to talk to you. I don't need to talk to him is what I said. Him. He asked me no, that I need his help. Of, he is an agent of this department. He can ask anyone anything up in the hallway yeah. that is standing in the And I don't have to answer the no, question. you do. No, I you don't. can be removed from the okay. office. Okay, how about we contact the police department? They can explain it to you. And we'll put you on trespass notice. Okay, well, you'll find out. This is a First Amendment protected activity. That's incorrect. You're, okay, okay, we'll you find out. back to uh, Kellogg's Law School you went to. Okay, and what's your name again? Oh, wait, I don't have to tell you that. Oh, you know what you true. Said? That's so true. <laughs> Did you have paperwork for Mr. Hill? Okay, hey, can you send a city officer up to the front? I asked to speak to his supervisor. South Tower Street. We're going to place an individual trespass notice in this building. He said, I don't have to do this, that, or the other, but we just want him placed on trespass notice in the building due to cause of ruckus upstairs. It just, you know. We're here to help somebody if they want to tell us, but he refuses to tell us anything. Am I required to answer so, your questions? There we go. That's. Okay, am I required to answer his questions because he asked me something? I don't think so. What's your name, sweetie? I'm not going to tell you. You got to tell me your name. I do not. Yes, when I get out with you, you have to tell me your name. That's not true. That get your supervisor. True. What's your name and your badge number? My name is Officer Bates. My badge number is 625. Would you like to speak with my supervisor? Either your supervisor or your watch commander, one of the two. I know that's not your policy. To begin, this was a public servant failure from the start. The so-called agent of the department created the issue coming off so aggressively, speaking to South Carolina accountability like he's used to talking to the probationers. This type of attitude being displayed by public servants is unacceptable and they should be removed from their duties. State employees should be grateful to have such a position and should always show that gratitude to the citizens who fund their paychecks. Now to the female cop on scene, she is just as educated on the law as my six-year-old daughter. I'm sorry, Jordan, to compare you to her, but this is sad. This cop knew nothing about what constitutes her getting ID from a citizen. And she knew absolutely nothing about lawfully trespassing a citizen from public property. What's the point of being a police officer if you have to refer to your supervisor to do your job properly? Let's see how the supervisor behaves when they arrive. And there's no refusing to give her information as I'm not required because I haven't committed a crime. Okay. Well, Just because you make contact with me. Any business owner can put anybody This isn't a business. This is state probation. That means it is a public it space. You can still put people on trespassing. Yeah, if they've committed a crime. You're a trespasser. Like, they don't want you here. Okay. It's a public space. Can't be trespassed. Yeah. I, I heard you the first time you said it. Yeah, I don't want to get charged for pedestrian in the roadway. Right. Um, so I, I really don't even care about that. She's basically telling me that I need to ID um, and I haven't committed a crime. This okay, isn't so a stop in an ID state. Okay, um, just because you received a call for service or a suspicious person still okay, doesn't come. We know what this is all about, that you're trying to draw the officers in and saying that they're violating your rights. But here's what the deal. They want you on trespass from here. Mm -hmm. Okay. For what reason? What You have to ask them. We don't can you articulate the crime that I've committed? Because he says that I don't have to commit a crime. To the office said I'm, and he told the lady up front. No, he told you to ask, for she, me to ask you. She said that... Um, he said, I want to speak to Sterling Hill's supervisor, and they asked him, you know, what his name is, and this is how I got involved. I'm the assistant agent, aren't you? Yes, sir. Aren't you? And they said, he's, you know, he's video, and he won't tell the name. So I come up there, and we're like, who are you here to see? I don't have to tell you that. Well, what's your name? I don't have to tell you that. I'm like, well, do you, are you on probation? I don't have to tell you that. I'm like, well, if you're not on probation, and you won't tell us who you are, because of safety has, we have a lot of people support that, you need to leave the building. I don't have to leave the building. 
sir, you need to be leaving. We're going to place you on trespass. You won't tell us what you need, what you're about. Just, I won't talk to this person. We don't know if it's a setup or somebody, you know, he's going to assault a, a supervisor. We don't know. He won't tell us anything. So for safety, we're like, well, then you need to leave the building. It's some law enforcement, you know, up there. And he said, I'm not leaving the building. You need to step outside and place on trespass. Say, come on, let's go. He come down there and he's, I don't have to leave the building. We said, go. Started to close the door. He grabbed the door. Said, no, I don't have to leave the building. He pulled back on the door to try to forcibly enter the building. And that's when we call. Said, we're going to call the city. He said, we'll call the police. They come up here and tell you, I don't have to leave. And that's why we called. And that's, but we want to know how can we help him to begin with, but he won't explain anything. And that's where we're at now. So here's, what, here's what's happening is, I'm not sure if you all saw that video. There's, a, there's several guys going around and and I'm just going to be honest, and I know you're recording me because I'm recording you. Um, what they're trying to do is they're trying to draw law enforcement in to say that we are violating their uh, rights. First Amendment. First Amendment rights. Right. And they're trying to draw you in with the First Amendment and Fourth Amendment and all that good stuff. So that's what that's about. Okay. I just, we don't know. I, mean, I, yeah, no, I, I haven't I, seen anything. I, I, I agree with you. I agree with you. You don't know. You, I mean, you deal with a whole lot of people here. The principle is I'm not required to answer your questions in public. One, I'm not a probationer. I'm not on parole. I'm not required to answer your questions. Two, it's a public space. Three, you put your hands on me to remove me from a public space, which I you didn't have. You out. Did you not touch on. me? Did you touch me in the process? Said, Come on, let's go. You're, you're not answering the question. Did you, you touch me in the process? Do what I was like. Yeah, because no, I, I don't have to do what you Come say. On. That's I'm what you don't understand. You. No. I don't have to do what you say. No. You have no governing authority over me. But anyways, that's why we're here. Like, Again, I'm not going to ID, so and I'm not going to be placed on trespass because it's a public I, space. That's what I'm saying. Is this some Homeland Security thing? I don't know. Would I you like know. to see the paperwork? Homeland Security so, gives us the authority to record government entities. Yeah, that's where we're so at. They, they've been, it's, like I said, there's a couple of them circling around. Um, they've been down to the courthouse. I was they, just there 30 minutes ago. They, 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 because we have the right to do so. They've been down to the courthouse. They've been down to our police department. And I, I respect your opinion. You feel like we're baiting you in, and I, I necessarily don't. Like I said, I came in here with the purpose to. But that's what I said, and I respect so, your opinion. So, and and, I mean, and there's some of us that do, yeah, but I didn't. I actually came in here with the purpose to see a supervisor, but someone asked me, How can they help? And I said, No, you can't, because I didn't want to speak to that person. Right. He wasn't the supervisor in charge. I knew he wasn't. Um, so because he didn't have on the proper uniform there i've never seen i've never seen a supervisor if any of the probation officers in south carolina that wear a uniform they always dress casual like you guys because our policy is is where uh like a business attire okay again nah. what was he the supervisor though exactly so you didn't know uh, again you didn't i mean know. well i guess my you assumption was assumption correct was but it was correct, correct. No, it was incorrect. oh okay okay but anyway so, yeah so like i said they we just let them record yeah. Am I being placed on trespass? As far as I'm concerned, no. Thank you. We just let them record, but we do keep... Am I free to go? You are. Thank you. Free to go and free to stay. So the supervisor claims that lawfully filming the public building is baiting the police. So what is it called to leave a vehicle with the keys in it and the door open parked in the poverty-stricken area? The real question is... How is it so easy for law enforcement to be baited? Let me guess, because it's normal for them to violate citizen rights. And when we film you violating our rights, it's called baiting? What kind of cop logic is that? Law enforcement officers simply don't like being held accountable. That's why they treat camera wielding citizens like criminals. Cops will use their connections at the local news station to do a story to slander First Amendment auditors. They claim to wear out to cause problems for a reaction. No, we're just out with the camera and public service causes the problem because they don't like being filmed, which is then the reaction. Cops will eventually find a reason to pull over an auditor to get their information and enter their name into a database with real criminals. Unfortunately, I don't see the situation getting any better anytime soon, but we must continue our fight. It's awesome to see South Carolina accountability have those servants educated and walk back into the building to finish filming his visit. I will give that supervisor some props for upholding the citizen rights, but I'm not because he did what he had to do to prevent from being fired and sued because obviously a higher up from the state government had informed them of our rights in the email. But that's going to do it for this video. Much love to South Carolina Accountability. Make sure you use the links in the description to show him some love and check out his most recent videos. If you're not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you won't miss the next episode.
If you made it this far, thank you so much. You're the real CT3 fam. And remember, if you can believe it, you can achieve it. Until next time, peace. Sweet.